Hey guys, and welcome back to our Wally tutorial. Uh, this is part 15, and we're going to start working now on the cogs down here at the bottom. Um, so we're going to start with the main um, gear wheel, and then we'll work on these other areas before we put the tracks on afterwards. So we'll start off with this wheel here. There's 11 spokes, so remember that because um, we're going to need to create a, a um, 22 segment um, cylinder. So here in object mode, create this cylinder here. Um, we're going to rotate it on the y-axis 90 degrees. Uh, let's go to the top view. I'm going to scale it on the x-axis till it's reasonably narrow. We don't want it to be too thick. Okay. Uh, now we're done with that, we can go over into edit mode. One thing I forgot, sorry, um, let's just delete this. When we create the um, cylinder, you need to make sure that we have 22 vertices instead of 32. 32 is the default. We want to create it with 22 because we're going to have 11 spikes. So you'll see how that works at the moment. So rotate 90 degrees on the Y axis, um, scale on the X to make it thinner. Okay. Um, let's go now to our left view, drag this into position, so it will be approximately placed around here, let's scale it down a bit, okay, um, now we'll go over into edit mode, face select, and we're going to want to select 11, one at a time, of these uh, edges. So, uh, sorry, of the faces. So we'll start with the one that's just off to the right of the top there. Okay, so it's this one. And we'll extrude it about 0 0.25. And we're going to go around and do the same 11 times. on every other face. So because we created 22 faces, we should end up now with 11 spaces and 11 spokes. Point twenty five and the final one Okay, so now we're done with that. Um, I can select this face here and I'm going to want to scale down. Actually, we'll select all of the faces. We want to taper these because the cogs are not straight spikes like this. They have a slight angle to them. So we'll select all these faces here, and if we go to scale on the x-axis, you'll see that we can narrow them down, like so. If we scale on the z-axis, you'll see that things are not scaling evenly. Um, so what actually now we need to do is scale each one of them individually. So we select an individual face. And we need to go from global to normal. Now when you scale, you'll see that we can actually shrink it down. And we probably want to go about 0 0.9. Let's see how that looks. So that gives an angle to there. Let's scale uh, 1. So that looks, no, oh, hold on, scale 0 0.7 is too much, let's try 0 0.8, 0 0.95, 
I think 0.8, so we'll scale 0 0.8 there, that gives us about right. So we'll go around and do the same to each one of these, so scale 0 0.8, scale 0 0.8, scale 0 0.8. So do this all the way around for all 11 of our cog spikes. So after we've done this, you should find then that we have a symmetrical cogs going all the way around. So we've got one more to do, which is this one. And there we go. Okay, so there's our um, beginnings of our cogs there. Um, you could have scaled them in a little bit more if you'd have wanted but I'm happy with what we've got there. Um, now we want to create this uh, lip, which you can see that sticks out, um, and then the second lip down here. So to do that, face select, we'll extrude out, and we'll just go 0.03, I think is enough, and the same at the back here, 0.03. Uh, now we'll go extrude, enter, scale, extrude, come out 0 0.09, extrude, enter, and scale again, and then we'll extrude inwards, like so. Okay, check out our reference image here. And uh, you see it's also the same at the rear, so this is going to be mirrored across. Not quite yet. Um, now I've done that, now I want to create this inner dome area here. There's also, looks like there's a recess in between each one of these spikes as well, so we may want to add that in. That would basically be an extrusion inwards, 0 0.05. Saying minus 0 0.05. Okay, so we'll go around and do all of these. Extrude minus 0 0.05. Extrude minus 0 So you'll see in a moment how um, the mirror modifier can really come in useful and save us a lot of work because we only have to create one of these because it's a little tedious doing this. But once we've created one, we can mirror it across. Okay, so that's done. Um, now I want to do the inner part, this kind of dome area that comes out. So. We're going to extrude out, scale, extrude and scale, extrude and scale until we get this. So we'll select this inner face. We'll extrude out. Scale. We'll extrude some more. And scale. Extrude some more. And scale. I think we came out a little bit too much on each one of those. Just going to move that back a bit. Extrude out again. And scale. And then our final one. Okay, 
go back to a reference image. Um, so we've got these holes which are in there and then these areas here which join it on. So there's one, two, three, four of those. Let's check it, check out how we can create that. So I think we'll do that by, um, let's have a look if we grab this, 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 and this face. And if we extrude that out a little bit, like so. And then we'll select this back edge here. And we'll drag that in. To make something like that. Okay. I think that's about right. So I want to replicate this all of them so we'll come down to this bottom here so there's one two three you want to select the matching three at the bottom so that would be these here and then we'll do the same here and here then we can extrude this out and then select only these back edges okay so now we've got those we can drag these in And we can also then select these edges and we can drag those in also a little bit like so. Okay, go over into object mode. So you can see now we've got our cog shape kind of developing there. Now what I'm going to do to this is maybe add a smooth modifier. And also a subdivision. Uh, have a look, subdivision surfaces. Quite a smoothing. Okay, we'll remove that for now. If we go into our um, edit mode, I think we all we want to do is subdivide these inner faces here, like the ones that we just created. Let's see if we can just subdivide these. Yeah, we can subdivide just these this inner area. So I'm going to select all of these so just help to make things smoother start with this and these the ones that bits that we just pulled out because uh, they look a little blocky. So I'll go to subdivide. We'll add the smooth modifier.
that looks a little better okay um, so that's one side of our cog done now this is going to be mirrored because there's two there's two sides to it uh, and then there's just a uh, basically a tube then that joins them both together so on the back side here come into edit mode I'm going to select the back face Check our reference image. Okay, so we're going to want to extrude and scale. Probably around here. Then we'll extrude again and scale. Then we're going to extrude out like so. Let's go to the front view. So we can get it about halfway, okay. So now we can go back over into object mode, add the mirror modifier, Now that's mirrored, um, I want to choose a mirror object. We'll mirror it over the body there. X axis. Drag that together. And we go to apply. Now in our front view, we can drag this into position. Now we have the first cog. Now if we add the mirror modifier again. Again, choose the body as the mirror object. You'll see that now we get it on both sides of the body. So we're just going to construct the wheels on one side and it'll be mirrored across to the other. Okay, so that's the um, first part of the, the wheels done. Um, the next part of the tutorial, we'll continue working our, our way across the bottom here with these other mechanisms. Um, you can have a go probably at making this now yourself. It's done in almost exactly the same way, it's only we haven't got the... Uh, the cog spike sticking out of it but it's basically the same um, to create these other cylinders so you could have a go at doing those yourself if you want if not then feel free to join us in part 16 of the tutorial where we'll be continuing with building this section of Wally. -E. if you check at the bottom of the uh, youtube video you'll find a link there where you can download the blender project file so you can open this in blender yourself and see what it is that we've built and follow along so thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you next time.